Yeah, I mean, I, I think the term maker has certain connotations which, you know, suggest different things. So, I don't, you know, I don't know if I, like, fit exactly into that thing, but the idea of making is super important to me, of, like, getting physical pieces out of, out of the design process that I go through. Um, I consider myself more than a maker to be a designer in that I'm producing different drawings and documents and shapes for machines to make or... You know, I'm involved in the making of it, but it's not, it's not like I'm, I'm like carving out of wood or something like that, right? My name is Travis, uh, Travis Fitch. Uh, I run a studio called Fitchwork. Um, it's a kind of multidisciplinary design practice engaged in architecture, fashion, product design, um, all sorts of different scales and ranges of projects. Um, we're out here in my Brooklyn studio to kind of show you some of my things, some of my objects and to talk about uh, my, my process and my approach to making. And this is like the first 3D printing technology I think ever developed in the 80s. And this company, this is like one of the first desktop versions of it that are kind of affordable. A 3D printer is great because it takes something virtual and it brings it into the world. So it, it gives us a reason to kind of get out of the computer and, and look at it you know, enjoy it physically. So this is, this is a lost wax cast cuff. Um, so it's printed in wax, and then they pour plaster around that mold, pour metal into it to, to fill that mold and then break the mold away and you're left with this. So it's really, again, it's using the technology to push new uh, formal languages or, or kind of new ideas of what things can look like, how, how materials can behave. So here's three different patterns and three different materials, but with the same underlying ring. And because I'm 3D printing things, I don't have to invest in a lot of copies of a single design. I don't have to sell one ring that I make a thousand of in China. And that means that I can offer different choices in terms of size, material, uh, and pattern, and like the form of the piece. And that idea is really important to me that, that now we live in an age where form, like the form that the objects you buy and consume and, and live with is customizable. It doesn't have to just be one size fits all. And it's, we're printing, I don't know, a handful of these things. Just a couple of those. Probably about that many. It takes about an hour and 40 minutes. So I grew up uh, outside of Santa Fe, New Mexico. Um, my parents were both artists who studied at U University of New Mexico. Uh, and they eventually kind of fell in love with the place and the landscape and they built a, a house in the, in the middle of the desert, kind of in the middle of nowhere. And of course, when you're a kid, I, I was maybe two or three years old living in a teepee and a trailer out in the middle of this of this landscape, uh, and then as I grew up, you you would help with that process. So, kind of building and constructing was a part of my life from a very very young age. And something about that uh, remoteness, I think, gave me a certain work ethic towards towards making things and producing my own things. Partly as a, a way to entertain myself, you know. Uh, and I think I really, I have to say, I really learned that 
from my parents. Uh, I don't know, I, I call it parallel play when I'm out there. Like my parents are always parallel playing. They have studios next to each other, and my dad's in one and my mom's in the other, and they're both kind of doing something. That, that line between like work and play and art and play and work, it's kind of, it's all a hazy boundary, you know? It's like, when are you playing and when are you making art? Uh, I think the best art is obviously coming from people that see it as a form of playtime as an adult. Moving into architecture was, and, and especially like jumping into Cornell University, was a radical experience. My thesis project was kind of the genesis for a lot of the work that I do today. Uh, it kind of started with some of my earlier interest in adobe block and concrete block and, and things like that. So the project ended up being this whole catalog of different patterning types and patterning systems and then using the 3D printer as a way to explore like how you can push that language forward and make things that you couldn't really produce before. Like if you're making it out of adobe or something like that, out of mud. Um, but it's totally like in that lineage. It's like mud to 3D printer. It's like, it's all modular. It's all pattern, you know? It's all technology too. So that's like, that's like why I make shit and I'm not just doing architecture anymore. It's like time, process, selfishness of like seeing designs realized. Uh, seeing your art kind of in a physical form. Um, but also I really, really, really want to make physical things, you know? In architecture, if you're just doing a drawing set, it doesn't exist as anything more than like a rendering and a set of sketches and a, a set of drawings. And it's like, I don't know, I think I studied architecture because I want to see stuff you, you think of in the world. It has to interact with, with people, with the environment, uh, with culture.